Hey, Village Church, what's going on? All right, Daniel Simpson here with another devotional. Today, we're reading from the NIV Bible here, Romans 15, just one verse today, Romans 15, 13. Okay, I'm going to read it, and then we will uh, we'll talk a little bit about it. All right, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. One more time. I'm going to read it one more time. Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, this is like a little kind of prayer that Paul is giving in, in Romans. He has a couple of these. There's one in Romans 15, three. It says, may the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you a spirit of unity among yourselves as you follow Christ Jesus. So that with one heart and mouth, you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then a few verses later, he gives this one, this, this one that we're talking about today. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I thought this was particularly uh, pertinent to, you know, our situation today, uh, you know, here in May of 2020 and all the things that we're going through and the difficulty of not being in our normal routine and the, and the difficulty of staying home all day, every day, or, you know, uh, all the stuff that's going on. I thought this was great. Um, and I just want to break this down a little bit. I'm really not like a great language arts English student, you know, I was more of a B plus kind of student. Um, so I didn't really break down sentences well. So just if you're really awesome at that, be patient with me. Um, I have a couple of big concepts here, not so much my ability to do English good. <laughs> okay. Um, I thought there was, okay, if I'm looking at the subject, let's talk about the subject of this verse. It's not me. Um, I am more of a secondary idea here. The subject is God. May the God of hope. Okay. So, um, and in the very end, it says that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So let's, let's first reorient our mind there. God is the subject. The Holy Spirit. Okay. God is the one on whom we should focus. Okay, he's also the giver. He is the one who is, he is filling us here and, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, he is the one who is giving and providing and, and he's the, the, the source here. Like Wade says, he's not the resource, he is our source. So God is the subject, first of all, of this verse, not me. I am the blessed recipient of what God has. And here's what it is. May the God of hope... And I love that he's the God of hope. Um, something that is uh, important for us to have right now. The hope, Nathaniel said the other day, please, um, you know, I just need some hope. I need the, a day when I can, he's going to kill me. He's going to kill me for telling this. But he's been bummed out that he hasn't been able to see his girlfriend. And um, he's like, just please tell me, when can I see her again? Like, when can I... When can we, you know, hug again? And I'm like, we don't know, we don't know, but sorry. And he says, I just need a date, give me a date. It's like, he just needs that hope, right? Just, it's why, well, don't, don't tell Nathaniel about this devotional. <laughs> uh, okay, so, but that hope is really important. The hope, that thing that we cling to, we hold on to, man, it's like, we really need that because when we're trudging through the muck and the mire, like we just need to see that light at the end of the tunnel. It gives us the ability to keep going on. And, and so, he, but God is the one who gives us the hope. Here's what it said. The God of hope, he is the God of hope. Fill you with all joy and peace. So here's this next few words that I think are really important. It, it's, 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 the, it's the only action we take in this verse. God is doing the rest of everything. The God of hope is filling us with joy and peace. Okay? He's helping us to overflow by the power of the Holy Spirit. God is the one doing it all. 
We have one action to do in this verse. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him. That's the only thing that we are required to do here so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Our only job, okay, right now in this verse here, and I think it's very appropriate, our job is to trust in him. The other little, the other little thing here is that um, you've probably heard Pastor Wade, or, or I've heard so many times now, you know, if God is going to fill us up with something, um, first we have to be empty, right? First we have to empty ourselves of everything else. Uh, have you ever had, like, you know, uh, looking for your, you're thirsty and you're looking for your cup of water. Where did I put my cup of water? Where did I put, oh, uh, okay, well, here's this cup. What's in this cup? I'll just use this cup. And you look inside of it and it's like, like half full of milk that somebody drank. Uh, that's been sitting out for hours <laughs> and you're like mm. you know what do you do you don't put your water in the cup that's half full of milk because that would be super nasty like drinking room temperature milk that's been sitting out for a long time you you first um, would empty that glass of the milk right before you filled it up with water uh, you would, uh, you know, probably rinse it out and make sure it's free from all of the gross milk byproducts that are sitting there after hours of being left out by one of your kids. So, and then you would fill it up and drink that water and it would be amazing. Um, but you wouldn't just go psh, out of the sink and fill up and drink like half milk, half water. And so th I think this is one of the things that's important for us here is to empty ourselves of all of the worry and concerns and all of the things that we have here that are um, that are gross, that is like that gross milk that's been sitting out. And if we empty ourselves and just surrender everything to the Lord, he will then fill us up. And he's not just going to fill us up until we're full. It says here that he will fill us up so that we may overflow. Now, what is, with overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit? Now, what happens when something is overflowing? You ever taken a, you know, you fill up a cup too much and it overflows? Um, when I was a kid, I remember doing that. We'd take like a cup and we'd try and fill it up just to that point where like the water is like bubbling above and one more drop and it would go and it overflow. And we, you know, we're stupid, we're kids. But um, when you overflow, the stuff runs down the side of the cup and it goes all out over the ground. And what does it do? It touches everything else around it, right? That stuff that was in the cup is overflowing now. It's touching, it's going out the sides and down and touching all the things around it and making it wet also. Um, and that's what we're talking about here. That, that's what the Holy Spirit will do for us. As we, as we trust in him, our only job here, trusting in him, the God of hope will fill us up with joy and peace. Would you like joy and peace in your life right now? Yes, amen. That you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Overflow. Oh, church, let us empty ourselves so that God can fill us up as we trust in him to overflow, okay, with, with hope. So that as we're on social media or having phone calls or Zoom meetings or um, FaceTime or whatever else we're doing as we're, you know, Instagramming or Snapchatting or whatever all y'all are doing, Facebook. Um, and and that, that what is overflowing from our life? What is it that we that is coming out of us that's going to go out to all the people and get all get wet everything around us what is that going to be will it be our anger our, our bitterness our frustration with what's going on is it going to be our discontentment is it going to be um uh selfishness is it going to be um <clears throat> what is it going to be what's what's going to be the overflow oh my goodness could it be could it be as we trust in him that god will fill us up with joy and peace and that hope will overflow, and that's what spreads out and touches everybody. That's what that's what people see when they hear from us on Facebook or whatever, is that 
God has filled us up with joy and peace and hope. I encourage you to spend some time in prayer, um, thinking about this verse, thinking about, you know, what do I want to overflow with? What do I want overflowing out of me? Because it's going to be something. What will it be? Nasty, gross milk water? Um, or is it going to be the joy and hope and peace that only God gives us through the power of his Holy Spirit as we trust in him? Have a wonderful day. Hope to see you soon.